Playing The Sims games in my childhood has changed my view on life. Here's what I mean. The Sims games offer a gameplay like no other game I know. They let you create replicas of yourself and give you the possibility to let those fake yous live in your dream house, do your dream job, or build your dream families. In the Sims world, you are a god. A god that has the overview over the lives of his creations and can control them in any way imaginable to reach the goals he set in mind. But the game is not a perfect world. Just like in real life, you have basic needs that you must fulfill to go on and about through the day, or else your creations will not be able to achieve things outside of those first levels in the Master of Pyramid. But if you manage those, you can optimize the lives of your creations in any way imaginable. And here's where my little child brain started to connect things. If I manage to make sure that I eat and drink enough every day, get enough sleep and stay healthy, I can achieve anything. Right? I didn't notice this at that point, but my view on myself and other people changed that day. I started to see myself as a separate being, that I could control as I wanted as long as its basic needs were fulfilled. I changed my own narrative from a first person to a second person narration and unlocked something I call the overview. But let me explain further. Imagine talking to another person and they ask you for advice on something they struggle with. As a bystander you have a very objective view on his concern and are mostly able to make decisions and suggestions based on facts rather than emotion. And mostly, not always, this advice will be the right answer to their problem. Well, all of us have probably been in that situation and most of us experience that even though that advice was the solution, the other person still went for a different approach. This was something I never really understood. Why would someone choose the inefficient and wrong path if they knew the right one? Because I looked at myself and my own problems from the point of view of another person, it manifested a very rational side of me. Looking at this from this point, how would you have lived your life if you were the god and your body just a sim? But let's see how this mindset changed me. First, I saw my day as the 24 hours they really are. If I wanted to fulfill my basic needs of 8 hours sleep a day and get regular food intakes, as well as reach my goals I had in mind, I had to optimize. Getting up, eating, washing, getting dressed, going to work or school. All those standard things had to be as effective as possible to not lose any precious time. If you can't identify with myself, ask yourself this. Do I have a routine? Because most people do. A morning routine, a night routine, the way we start our day when we arrive at the office, people usually tend to do things they already know. The same breakfast, the same cup for coffee, the same parking spot. It's those small things that keep us in order. The thing that I did to level this up was to ask myself if that's really the best way to do things. After that, it's about setting up a bigger goal you want to get and making it into steps that are smaller and more realistic to reach. If you wanted to become an astronaut in a game, you did need to start also training. And that's kind of exactly how the real world works as well. Knowing that, I made a plan for myself. Which included collecting some skills and making an academic path that was needed for the bigger picture I was aiming for. This was really important information right there. Going to school sucked because I didn't see the points of the things that I had to learn there. And while I still think that our school system has a lot to improve on, having a goal working towards motivated me to graduate like nothing else did. I was the learn as little as possible to pass kind of student because I saw that grades weren't the thing that would bring me further in life. I mean, good grades make mummies proud and make some things easier in life, but for the goal I had in mind, passing was all I needed. Because let's be real, no employer ever looked at my high school grades and asked me why I sucked at biology. And even though I would call myself a lazy person, I was never lazy when it came to playing my own life. I had part-time jobs as soon as I was allowed to. To collect those work experience years, employers were all hot and heavy for. I started learning languages and visited other countries to be able to understand other cultures and the world in general better. And I started working on things that I was bad at to keep you from having power over me. Because I believed that insecurity came from inexperience. And for me, knowledge was the equivalent of power. 15 years later, I'm still playing my own life game. And pretty confident as well. I had to take some changes in mindset when it came to mental health and relationship. Because rationality and optimization don't always fit in with those two. But altogether, I'm now able to say that playing The Sims as a child changed my view on life. In a good way.